Join Realtor Magazine as we take you inside an eco-friendly kitchen model at Aft Electronics in Glenview, Illinois. See exactly what makes a green kitchen green. Well, we're finding green is kind of the way of the future. People are more and more coming in and asking for what's green, how can they become more green within their homes. So we partnered with a local cabinet shop and uh, he came up with all these great ideas to, to show a customer how they can get much more ecologically friendly within their own house. It has a lot to do with the components you put into the kitchen. Um, the type of cabinets, the wood you're using, the countertops you're using, the flooring, everything that goes into a kitchen will have some type of green effect. So uh, you just need to look at what you're buying when you put a kitchen together. Water saving is one part of it. I mean, the, the two components that use water in your kitchen. You have the faucet or the dishwasher. There's low flow faucets out there now that'll save you 30% of the water. With a good spray head, you won't even notice the 30% loss. And dishwashers, you get into low water consumption dishwashers. Some of the units now are using half the water that a standard dishwasher would use. So by that, they're using a lot less, or saving a lot of energy. The largest thing in the kitchen are the bamboo cabinets. The cabinets doors are solid bamboo. Yeah, bamboo can grow up to four feet in a day. So it regenerates much quicker and they can harvest it much quicker without uh, depleting mm -hmm. large forest, uh, forest lands. Also within the cabinetry, the, the glues that they're using in the boxes, they're formaldehyde free, they're, uh, they're low VOC, so, so you're not using, in the manufacturing facility, facilities, you're not using a lot of harsh chemicals to manufacture the cabinets. Even the stains are water-based. Countertops are uh, Vitrazo counters, and they are green because 85% of what goes into this is recycled glass. They take glass, this is, what we're looking at here is from Coke bottles, but they do them from, if you want a uh, Tangeray bottle, they'll do them in the green glass, or they have the sky blue vodka. So uh, the key to this is, again, it's 85% recycled glass. Another countertop used in here are the paper stone, which is made 100% from recycled materials. No other countertop is made that way, so they're extremely green. Well, what you see, there's a lot of new ovens out there that, that do a combination of convected heat, microwave heat, they call speed cook ovens. When you use one of these items, they'll cook 30, 40, sometimes 50% faster, so they're for cutting your energy consumption in half. Another thing people are getting into is composting. Now here's an easy way where you can throw the items that you want to compost in the yard and keep them for storage until you can carry them out. Basically have a bucket that you can put everything into, take it out into your yard and use it for your flowers. For our under cabinet lighting and in cabinet lighting, we're using an LED, a light emitting diode, which is extremely high efficient uh, lighting. For this kitchen, the entire kitchen, to run these lights that we have here would run you about $10 a year. In comparison, a 60 watt bulb could run you anywhere from 25 to 30 dollars a year just for one light bulb. What's, what's nice about the lights is they throw off no heat and you, they have roughly a 50,000 hour lifetime on them. Everyone comes in and they want to see how they can change their kitchens. This gives them a great place to look.